In this class, we are going to walk you through the user interface for Oracle Integration 3. When you log into Oracle Integration 3 instance, you will land into this page. So, in this page, you will have the card layout over here that is to quickly get into the integration creation, visual builder app creation or get into the insights. And if you scroll down, there are a few accelerator and recipes involved over here. This is similar to what you had seen in our Oracle integration 2. Similar like that, we are having recipes and accelerators. In our future classes, we will see how we can make use of the recipes or accelerators and we can download or create the projects provided by Oracle. So that we don't have to create explicitly the integrations in order to communicate with SAP, Salesforce and so on and so forth things. Also, one good thing over here in the recipe and accelerator is the filter by. So here if you want to see what and all Oracle ERP cloud recipes or accelerators are available, then we can click on this icon and get the details of all the recipes currently available in your Oracle integration 3 version. And suppose if you want to know what are the recipes involved in SAP or for the Slack adapter, then we can click on this and get the details so that we can quickly get into this and click on install so that it can create the integration and necessary resources in order to get you started with this accelerators or recipe integrations. Suppose if you want to create any integrations, you can just click on this create integration and get into the create integration wizard. So from there on, we can design your integrations. I'm not going to click on this. If you click on this navigator menu that is on the left top corner that is hamburger menu. If you click on this, we will see so many options. So it is similar to what we had in the Oracle integration 2 version, but the naming of few of the menu is changed. So suppose if you click on the visual builder, it will take you to the separate visual builder instance. Suppose if you want to get into the settings, you can go into the settings, you can manage the certificate, you can go to this notification and change the notification settings available for your instance. Suppose if you want to change the tracing, if you want to turn off the global tracing, all those things what we had seen in the integration to here, it's also available. Suppose if you click on the schedule, you will get the settings for the schedule for the file server. You can click on the server, click on the settings and get the details for the FTP server. If it is not configured, then you can configure one for you. Let me get back from this file server. Suppose if you click on the design, it will get into the integration menu. So previously it was integrations in the Oracle integration 2 version. Here it is renamed to design. Suppose if you click on this B2B, you will get into the B2B, click on the insights and the observability. So monitoring is renamed to observability over here. So here we are having the option to check the dashboard. In the dashboard, we will see what is the error rate, how many integrations are inactive, what are the connections we have configured, so and so forth things. So we don't have any active instances for any of the integrations in past 24 hours. So if you want to change the settings, so we can just click on this and change the settings like until now, past month, past week, it will show the details for you appropriately. Since this is the new instance, we don't have any instances created for any of the integrations. So it is showing nothing. Suppose if you want to get into the error hospital, if you want to see what are the future runs which are been scheduled here, we can click on this and see the details of all the future runs, B2B tracking we can do. We can go with the help of instances. If you click on this search, we can provide the instance ID. And if you click on the filters over here, we will see the similar filters what we had in the integration too. Suppose if you want to monitor the health of agents and observe the details, then we can click on the agents. So uh, let me come back from here. If you go to the integrations, so here most of the things are similar like what we had seen in our previous versions of integration that is Oracle integration 2 version. If you click on the integration, you will get a option to create the integration. Another one is to import. We can import our .ir file as well over here. That is over here. .ir file is supported here as well. Suppose if you want to create from scratch, you can click on the create. Currently, it is supporting app driven orchestration and another one is a scheduled orchestration. Unlike Oracle integration 2, wherein we had one to one routing, file transfer, those kind of integration patterns. But here we are having only two types that is app driven and scheduled integration. In our coming classes, we will learn how to create from scratch app D1 integration and the schedule orchestration. So we will learn both the type of integration patterns with the help of some basic use case we will consider and we will show you how we can create our first app D1 orchestration and schedule orchestration in Oracle integration 3 instance. So if you click on the connection, here we can create the connections by clicking on this create button. So earlier we used to get the wizard over here at the center of the screen or the pop-up, but here we have to select from the menu what we get on the right side of the screen. 
suppose if you want to create a ftp connection click on the ftp here we have to provide the name then the identifier and the role we have to select it, whether it's a trigger invoke trigger invoke both then if you click on the create it will ask for further details suppose i am giving here ftp and clicking on create it will open up a new window wherein we have to provide further details like what is the host port optional properties so and so forth things as of now i'm not creating let me get back from here next comes the lookup like we had in our previous version in oracle integration 3 also it supports the lookup we can import the previous lookups that is with the help of that csv or the comma separated file or we can create the lookup from scratch by clicking on this create and providing the name so it will create a lookup similar like what we had in the earlier version that is in the row and column manner libraries we can create with the help of javascript over here we can click on import and import a previous library as well or we can create the jar or the individual dot js files so dot js dot jar and the dot zip are supported over here let me just close this and the concept of packages is still remaining in oracle integration 3 as well that is we can group multiple integrations lookups connections into a single package so that we can migrate a package from one instance to one another instance suppose if you are creating any integrations as part of some project transformation like salesforce transformation project or service now transformation project then what and all integrations you will create like 20 30 integrations so when creating those integrations you can provide the common package name so that it will group under this package and that package will show over here we will see how the package looks in oracle integration 3 and how we to export and import and while exporting and importing how it will migrate the integrations with the package coming to the agent so the concept of agent remains same over here as well we can download the connectivity agent and we can install the agent in the machine provided your machine must support running the jdk that is the java version next comes the adapters so here we will get the list of all the pre-installed adapters by oracle and there is one more option we can click on this options over here and click on create connections so that it will create a connection right from here so that you don't have to go to connections and then create so entire oracle integration 3 instance is built on the redwood theme which we had earlier seen in visual builder applications from long time in our next class we will have a quick walkthrough on the documentation of oracle integration 3 we will see what are the service limits what are the restrictions what are the features available in oracle integration 3 version